doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. Ha, how often do you bang your head against the wall, try to control people, places, things, situations in your life, yet to no avail? You try to convince somebody of something. You try to stop doing drugs. You try to change your routines, yet nothing changes. Well, today we're going to learn a little bit from The Daily Stoic, written by Ryan Halliday, to help us navigate some of those things. This is June 22nd, the definition of insanity. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. I am here to help you increase your capacity for resilience and well-being. Please also consider supporting the channel on Patreon. All that information is in the description. Okay, June 22nd, the definition of insanity. If you are defeated once and tell yourself you will overcome, but carry on as before, know in the end you'll be so ill and weakened that eventually you won't even notice your mistake and will begin to rationalize your behavior. Epictetus Discourses 2.18.31 beautiful, beautiful. To me, that smacks of this idea of denial. Don't even notice I am lying. Another insightful piece to that is rationalize, justify, minimize. These are all wisdoms, insights from a whole bunch of similar insight practices, wisdom traditions. So you will notice often that you start to make excuses or rationalizations for certain behaviors because nothing's changing and you don't know why, or you don't even have the ability to be aware that this is what you're doing. So hopefully this reading in this video can help you navigate that. I'll keep reading here. It's been said that the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over, but expecting a different result. Yet that's exactly what most people do. They tell themselves, today I won't get angry. Today I won't gorge myself. But they don't actually do anything differently. They try the same routine and hope it will work out this time. Hope is not a strategy. Failure is a part of life we have little choice over. Learning from failure, on the other hand, is optional. We have to choose to learn. We must consciously opt to do things differently, to tweak and change until we actually get the result we're after. But that's hard. Sticking with the same unsuccessful pattern is easy. It doesn't take any thought or any additional effort, which is probably why most people do it. Okay, well, can you think of a situation in your life where you're doing something like this? For me right now, this relates mostly to me wanting to lose weight. I tell myself I want to lose the weight. I get upset with myself when I'm not losing weight. I weigh myself all the time, yet I often make decisions that contradict that. So some of the things I have done is I am exercising more, quite a lot more. I'm doing my best to eat more protein, avoid sugar as much as I can, because no doubt I love eating sugar and candy and chips. I am a junk, food junk addict, no doubt. It's probably my only vice left. So maybe that's why I don't want to let it go. Anyhow, it's hard, right? And so the way I navigate that, when I, again, kind of find myself spinning, ruminating that I'm not doing what I say I'm going to do, rather than make excuses in some sense, I catch myself and I just say, you're right. I'm choosing not to lose weight because I'm choosing to do behaviors and actions that are not contributing to me losing weight. So for me, at least I'm not anymore in the cycle of denial or of sort of frustration and anger that I'm not losing weight because I know I'm not willing to do many of the things that are necessary for me to lose weight. And at the same time, I am trying to introduce behaviors and practices, if you will, to help me lose weight. And this is something that I'll probably check in with everybody on uh, in a future video. Anyhow. Can you list out a few things or situations in your life where you are being a reflection of the definition of insanity? Can you look in the mirror, find some of those things, write them down, 
ask yourself what kind of excuses you are making, ask yourself how you're rationalizing your behavior, and then maybe write down a few specific, that's important, specific actions that you are going to at least consider or contemplate doing so that you no longer exhibit the definition of insanity. Please share those things in the comment section, like this video. I hope you found that helpful. Until the next time, I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.